once again.
It's been a while since I've had a guest. You're the ferryman, aren't you? Well, I appreciate the supplies. I've been surviving on canned cockles and brine broth for far too long now. Anyways, I'm just glad to have some company. Feel free to make yourself a home here. I certainly know I have. to the light keepers. It's a very important job. Your costume looks kind of like his, actually. Oh, wait. Do you work with Papa? That's so cool! We live in the third light. Papa says it's a big honor. Whatever that's supposed to mean. But our house is nothing compared to the great light. Have you heard of it? It's like one of these tiny little lights, but way bigger. And, and, did you know? It floats too. It floats way above the ocean, and the fog, and the sky. But for some reason, the great light is hiding right now. Maybe it's napping. Papa says one day the great light will come back as long as we keep the smaller lights shining bright. Isn't that awesome?
ferryman, I presume? You can leave the supplies at the door. I'll lug the whole of it in later. Thanks. Is there something else you require? If you'd like a pick-me-up for the trip, feel free to take this vial. The stuff burns going down, but it's not bad for vigor. And it's not bad at staving off the plague, either. Ah, yes. It's a self-made remedy. I'm the best you'll find among the lights, if that's any consolation. I'm loath to ask, but have the harborers made any progress lately? Well, no surprise there. The mere fact that another of you had arrived essentially confirmed it. Still, you're lucky for a plague. Well, we're both lucky. It affects everyone differently. At least we were given a chance. A terrible chance. But a chance nonetheless. I'm well aware that we're within earshot, but the harborers won't come all the way out here. That's what they send you for, after all. You'd better get back out there. I hope you find some purpose in all this. I'm well aware that we're within earshot. I love it here. The fifth light is so cozy. I was never a fan of my life back with the harborers anyways. Everybody's much- Huh? Who are you? Where did you- Oh, it's you. The ferryman. You don't know how long I've been waiting for these supplies. Praise it be the light! Oh, I, I love it here. Shut, shut I was up! Never a fan. If you think you're- Your supplies? I, I love it. Uh, I was never a fan- Oh, my bunkmate? Yeah, he's a complete freeloader. The guy that's supposed to be the ferryman comes in one day, and instead of delivering my supplies, he sets up camp right in my proverbial home. And even worse, his ship was half sunk and all of his supplies were soaked. Pisses me off. Hey, I mean, you've already done more than he ever has by simply getting the supplies here in one piece. Well, at least I have food now, and I'm not sharing. Well, I love it here. The fifth
back. Hey, you're not sticking around, are you? I can't take it, another person living here. Well. I love it here. I speak of the Fog Eater. If she graces you with her presence, you best hunker down with the lights low, ye engine silent. She harbors a fury for our kind. A fog signals her approach. If he spy the Fog Eater, I have not else. A fog signals her approach.
here. A guest. A guest on my doorstep. <laughs> a plague has arrived in my den. Many thanks for the nourishment, fairy man. There is something romantic to the sea, is there not? <laughs> you must harbor many burdens, many worries, many weights. The sea is a warmth. Embrace the warmth, plagued. The sea is your home. <laughs> You do not belong here, fairy man. You belong below. Now, would you like a gift?
before. The plague. Leave. Leave! Before you become... Before you steal this from me. The plague. A gift. Leave. Leave! Before you become... Before... The plague. Seven, one, five. Three, nine, seven, one. 